Welcome to the TNT Show. I'm The Rev. Today we take on Civil War and the death of Jon Snow. And Black Cat Comics preps for free comic book day. Let's get to it. Today's show is brought to you by Performance Guards, makers of the finest in protection for your teeth. Also, we want to congratulate our winners from the TNT round. We got a picture of one of our winners, Alex, showing off his prize, a Yondu pop figure. Congratulations, Alex. Watch out for that guy's knife. Last season of HBO's mega hit Game of Thrones ended with, surprise, a suspenseful cliffhanger featuring beloved character Jon Snow dying in, well, the snow. As expected, fans have flipped out more than an entire cheer squad on meth, filling online forums and blogs with so many comments and rants that if you combine all of it together, it's still not as long as George R. R. Martin's last book. Theories aplenty exist as to why Jon Snow will not remain dead, with a huge amount of significance being placed on the shape of his blood as it pulls in the snow around him. Some people claim that the blood left behind when Jon's body is removed looks like the figure of a dragon. Of course, some people also claim that things reported on Fox look like actual news. Some people also claim that Twilight looks like a real romance. Some people also claim that Ted Cruz looks like actual presidential material. When asked his opinion on the smear symbolism, Dr. Freud responded, just how long have you hated your mother? Frankly, there hasn't been this much hype over blood spatter since the OJ trial. What, still too soon? In other news, a minor tiff seems to have sprung up among certain members of the Avengers. Theories over why Captain America and Tony Stark are actually fighting very wildly. Some theories suggest that the spat is over how the toilet paper should be hung on the helicarrier. Others indicate that it's over a disagreement of how to pronounce the word gif. Jif. Jiffy lube. Jiffy peanut butter. Gif felt a fish. I don't know. I say potato. Personally, I think it's because Iron Man can't keep his mouth shut. Look, Cap, Tony, why can't you just handle this like grown adults and duke it out over Twitter? Civil War opening this Friday. From everything I've read, critics agree. Whether it's Team Cap or Team Iron Man, the fans win. But enough of that. The 15th annual free comic book day is coming up. The event takes place every year. Yeah, I, I know, that's what the word annual means. On the first Saturday of May. For Saturday of May, for Saturday of May, outdoor f Thanks, Reb. I'm Taylor from Black Cat Comics. I'm Greg from Black Cat Comics. And today we're going to talk about Free Comic Book Day. Oh, uh, Free Comic Book Day, 15 years strong now. Um, there are so many great things coming out this year. The Civil War II uh, prelude, yep. which is enormous with the Captain America movie coming out. Bob's Burgers. Of course. We're doing a Bob's Burgers <laughs> one. We got our shipment today. It's a full palette of comic books off of a truck. I'm amazed at how much I've ordered. I'm almost scared of this. Um, but you know, every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. More people coming in, more books given away. It's the first Saturday in May, which this year it's going to be May 7th. Bring as many people as you'd like. It's a really good family experience as well. There's tons for like just kids and for adults. A lot of comic shops do put limits on them. We actually don't put limits on. If you want one of everything, we want you to take them. We want you to try new books. So yes, please. Hopefully we'll see you the first Saturday of May. That's all we got there. Back to you, Rev. I'm Greg at Black Cat Comics. And I'm Taylor. See you on May 7th. Thank you, guys. So Friday night, Civil War. And Saturday, head on down and support your local comic store. Remember to check out what Black Cat Comics is up to by visiting them online at blackcatcomics.com. Or if you're in Salt Lake area, swing by the store in Sugar House. And now it's time for the TNT Top 10 on Tuesday. How's that for alliteration? Here are the top 10 things to never say to Game of Thrones creator and author George R.R. R. Martin. Hey, the Beatles called and... That's the wrong George. Okay. Number 10. So how's that next book going? Number 9. Just how good is your medical coverage? Number 8. Are you ever going to get a different hat? Number seven, remember to buy yourself a good coat because winter is, you know, I'm not even gonna finish that one. Number six, hey George, how about a game of musical chairs? Number five, Tolkien called and he wants both of his R's back. Number four, is it 11Z's yet? Number three, I found some extra vowels you can use for Targaryen character names. Number two, White Walkers. Don't you think that's a bit racist? And number one, Whatever you do, please don't kill. Insert your favorite character here. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out some of our other videos here and here. TNT's Dungeon Crawl featuring G makes its premiere this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Keep those comments and posts coming, and until next time, remember, 
you know nothing, Jon Snow. And we'll see you on the TNT Show. Stay classy, San Diego. All my single ladies, all my single ladies, all my single ladies, all my single ladies.